Hello everyone, you are welcome to how to solve this very nice system of equations x squared plus y squared is equal to 14 and x cubed plus y cubed is equal to 18. Our job is to find all possible values of x plus y. So let's start. Let's call this equation equation 1 and this equation equation 2. From equation 2, this x cubed plus y cubed can be stressed as a x plus y times x squared plus y squared minus x y is equal to 18. Now we replace this x squared plus y squared with this value from equation 1 14. So this will become x plus y times 14 minus x y is equal to 18. Now we suppose that uh, let x plus uh, y is equal to a and uh, x times y is equal to b. So this equation will become a times 14 minus b is equal to 18. Let's call this equation equation number 3. Now from this uh, equation number 1, equation 1 is uh, x squared plus uh, y squared is equal to 14. This is equation number 1. By using an algebraic identity, this uh, x squared plus uh, y squared can be factorized as uh, x plus uh, y whole squared minus 2xy is equal to 14 and in this equation we replace this x plus y with a and this xy with b. So this equation will become a squared minus 2 times b is equal to 14. If we move this negative 2b to the right hand side and this 14 to the left hand side then this implies that 2 times b is equal to a squared minus 14 and if we divide both sides by 2 this implies that b is equal to a squared minus 14 divided by 2. Let's call this equation equation number 4. Now in this uh, equation number 3 we replace this b with this value of b a squared minus 14 over 2 then this will become a times 14 minus in place of b we write this value a squared minus 14 over is equal to 18. Now we can write the denominator of this 14 1 and we take LCM of 1 and 2. LCM of 1 and 2 is 2. 2 divided by 1 is 2 and 2 times 14 will become 28 minus 2 divided by 2 is uh, 1, 1 times this expression will become a squared minus 14. Times a is equal to 18. Now we multiply both sides by 2. At right hand side we multiply by 2. So this 2 will be cancelled out with this 2. We are left with uh, a times 28. Negative times a squared will become negative a squared. 
negative times negative 14 will become plus 14 is equal to this 18 times 2 will become 36 next a times this 28 plus 14 will become 42 minus a squared is equal to 36 distribute this a this will become 42 times a minus a cubed is equal to 36 now we rearrange these terms and move this 36 to the left hand side this will become negative a cubed plus 42 times a minus 36 is equal to 0 to make this negative a cubed positive we multiply the whole equation by negative 1 so negative 1 times the negative a cubed will become positive a cubed negative 1 times 42a will become negative 42 times a negative 1 times negative 36 will become plus 36 is equal to 0 now this is a cubic equation if we divide this 36 by the coefficient of a cubed 1 if we divide 36 by 1 we get 36 and factors of 36 are plus minus 1 plus minus 2 plus minus 3 plus minus 4 plus minus 6 plus minus 9 plus minus 12 plus minus 18 and plus minus 36 if we check 1 this is not a solution if we check 2 this is not a solution 3 not a solution 4 not a solution we check 6 in this equation if we check a is equal to 6 then this will become 6 cubed minus 42 times 6 plus 36 is equal to 0 6 cubed is 216 minus 42 times 6 will become 252 plus 36 is equal to 0 and 36 plus 216 is 252 252 minus 252 is 0 it means that this a is equal to 6 is a solution of this cubic equation which means that a minus 6 is a factor of this cubic equation so we rewrite this equation as a cubed we subtract 6 a squared and we add 6 a squared we write this negative 42 a as a negative 36 times a and a negative 6 times a plus this 36 36 is equal to 0 from these two terms a cubed minus 6 a squared we can factor out a squared in back left a minus 6 and from these two terms we can factor out 6a plus 6a as common factor in back left a minus 6 and from these two terms we can factor out negative 6 negative 6 as common factor in back left a minus a minus 6 is equal to 0 now as you can see this expression a minus 6 is a common factor so we factor out this a minus 6 and in back left a squared plus 6 times a minus 6 is equal to 0 from here either this expression a minus 6 is equal to 0 or this expression a squared plus 6 times a minus 6 is equal to 0 
from this equation we get the value of a is equal to 6 and from this uh, quadratic equation we can rewrite this equation as uh, a squared we write this uh, 6a as uh, plus uh, 2 times a times 3 means that uh, to complete the square we add and subtract 3 squared or 9 in this equation we add 9 and we subtract 9 minus this 6 is equal to 0 now this a squared plus uh, 2 times a times 3 plus 9 will become a plus uh, 3 whole squared In this uh, negative 9 minus 6 will become negative 15 is equal to 0 move this uh, negative 15 to the right hand side this will become a plus uh, 3 whole squared is equal to 15 and from here we take a square root of both sides at right hand side we take a square root so this is square will be considered out with this square root and we are left with a plus 3 is equal to plus minus root 15 move this 3 to the right hand side this will become a is equal to negative 3 plus minus root 15 it means that we get a two values of a a is equal to negative 3 plus root 15 and a is equal to negative 3 minus root 15 and first we get this value of a 6 a is equal to 6 now recall that we have supposed we have supposed that x plus y is equal to a we have supposed that x plus y is equal to a so we get uh, three values of x plus y x plus uh, y is equal to first is 6 and the second is uh, negative 3 plus uh, root 15 and the third is uh, negative 3 minus root 15 so these are the three solutions of uh, this equation